everybody. It's Judy Clark here coming to you today for another little demonstration. And today we're going to be working with the really fun Thanks a Bunch stamp set. This is a free set that you can get during celebration with an order of $50 or more. And I just, when I saw it, I just thought it was so cute and playful. And today we're going to marry it up with another stamp set called Easter Bunny. Now this is the bundle that I'll be working with for my March workshop. It's the stamp set and then the matching punch that will punch out this Easter Bunny down here. But we're just gonna use this little Easter Bunny tonight as a background, just to kind of give us some interest on our stepped up card. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to be working with. And we're going to pair these cards with another celebration item, the Dandy Designs Designer Series Paper. This is free with a $100 purchase, can't even speak, a $100 purchase during celebration. And you get 48 double-sided sheets. So it's a, it's a great deal, but we're gonna do this. This is just our simple stamping card. It's all straight cuts. You can do this with just a paper trimmer. We're gonna add some stuff on the inside and then we're going to step it up and we're even going to change it from this one because we're going to add that bunny onto this uh, granny apple green just to kind of give it a little bit more interest. So, hey, Marsha, how you doing? How's your weather down there in Texas? It's cold here in Virginia. And then we're going to, um, Add a, we, we're doing a die cut. This is the deckled rectangles die cut. We're going to add some ribbon. And of course, we're going to add some gems. I didn't have a chance to add those uh, before I went live. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with our simple stamping card. And I'm using a card base of fresh freesia that is eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at four and a quarter. I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of burnish that. For the inside, I have a piece of our basic white that's four by five and a quarter. For the outside, I have a piece of uh, pale papaya that's four and a quarter by three and a quarter. A piece of that Dandy Designs DSP that's three by four. And then just another piece of basic white that's two by three and a half. So these are, this is actually just like a little scrap that I had, but it worked out perfectly for the design. So let's go ahead and get our stamping done first. So I'm going to pull in our Stampin' Pierce mat. This one's seen better days. Maybe it's time to order a new one. <laughs> so I'm gonna use our pale papaya and I'm going to stamp two of these little single small carrots. This, I guess this is the medium sized carrot. And I'm just going to stamp this right there, okay? While we have our orange out, we're also going to stamp a bunch because on the front it's going to say thanks and on the inside we're going to say a bunch, okay? Now I'm gonna close this up for a minute. We'll use that again. And I'm going to bring in our granny apple green and I'm going to stamp that long feathery looking leaf. Okay. I'm just going to go tap, 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 tap. And let me make sure I can get this where I want it. Don't mind, don't pardon my, don't mind my big head. Okay. And I'm going to do one on the other carrot. These are going to kind of overlap and that's fine. Okay. So now we've got our inside done. We're going to put that aside just for a minute. On the front, we're going to come through. We've got this little group of three carrots. Okay, they're right there. And I'm going to stamp them uh, in a group of five. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp one in the middle here in our pale papaya. I'm going to stamp another one over here in our pale papaya, and then one over here. And then I'm gonna come in with some pumpkin pie. Now you can also use 
Like there's purple carrots. You could use Highland Heather. You can use the fresh freesia. Um, you can do uh, like um, deeper, you can use coral calypso. I'm going to use pumpkin pie. So, I mean, there's lots of different things you can do. You can, you know, if you want to make blue carrots, make blue carrots. It's your card. You can do whatever you want to do. That's what we love about it. It's 52. Low tonight is 33. Oh, that's chilly. <laughs> you always think of Texas as being warm. Okay. So we're going to do that. Now we're going to go back with our granny apple green. And we are going to stamp again some of these little leaves. Like these little tiny feathery looking leaves. Let me get that there. We're going to stick that there. And then there. So this is kind of, we're keeping with the thanks theme this week. Because on Tuesday, I showed you that really cool new kit, Sending Thanks, which I thought was really pretty. Um, so if you haven't checked that one out, go go check that one out on oh, it's Tuesday. It's my lesson at lunch. And I'm going to just stamp a thanks up here in our pale papaya. I'm using this again. Okay. All right. We're almost done, but I wanted to add a little bit of interest to the edge of the card. Now we're going to center all of our layers kind of right in the middle. So we don't need a lot. So we have this great little stamp that's part of the set. It's just kind of like random dots. And we are just going to go all around the edge. I don't know where to put my stamp pad. Okay, I'm just going to go all around the edge and I'm just going to kind of twist this around different ways, but I'm not going to go any further than the edge. We're going to keep it right around the edge because everything else will be hidden by our layers. So we're good. We don't have to go very far. So this is going to go by quickly. But again, this is just something that adds, I think, a little bit of interest. Um, it doesn't make the card appear quite so plain. It's an easy way to just kind of add some dimension or texture or visual uh, difference, differences to your card. So um, I love using these little background stamps. Again, I love doing tone on tone. If you don't have the same color of your card stock, if you use Versamark, you will get the same effect. It will give you kind of like a tone on tone feeling. All right. So now we are ready to layer up our card. All right. Let's go. I just got a brand new stamp and seal. So I'm going to take my inside. I'm going to put my inside in there. So, I mean, this is just such a fun card. Happy, ooh, happy colors. I don't know why that did that. That was very strange. It's a new one. Okay. Okay. Light. New light touch. Okay. And one more. And that just doesn't like that edge. All right. There we go. So now we've got that. We're just going to put that in there. Okay. That's our inside. Isn't that pretty though with the colors? I love them. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and layer up our, our layers here. We've got our designer series paper. We're going to put that on a layer of pale papaya. Is anyone excited to see the new in colors that are coming this year? One of them is called Boho Blue. And if you sign up during celebration and you select the option where you can get the um, mini stamp cut and emboss, you can get the new one in Boho Blue. So that would be kind of pretty. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to lay that down there. Oops. I don't know what is wrong with this stamp and seal tonight. Goodness great, it is just ripping the heck out of everything. All right, this is not going well. All right, all right, you know what? Liquid glue it is. When all else fails, go to the liquid glue. I don't know why that stamp and seal is just ripping my cardstock to pieces tonight. Okay, we'll be contacting demo support about that tomorrow. Okay, so now we've got that. Now I am going to, if I can find them, put this up 
on some dimensionals. But you know what? I, I had these left over from my paper pumpkin. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these little dimensional strips. So if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber and you've got leftover, you know, pieces and parts, make sure you use them all. You paid for them. So go ahead and use those. I mean, dimensionals or dimensionals or dimensionals. So, um, so this is, these are perfect. These were left over, so no reason not to use them. Okay. And we're just going to put that there. And there is our first simple stamping card. So we didn't do anything other than stamps, inks, and paper. And it's a really colorful card. Thank you to that beautiful designer series paper that you can get for free during celebration. Okay, let's go on to our second card. So again, our second card is mm, sort of on the simple side, but we're gonna do some two-step stamping. We're gonna, we have that die cut, that deckled rectangle die cut. All right, so here we go. Let's get started. We have got our inside piece. This is a piece of basic white. I feel like I got glue on here. That is four by five and a quarter. And we're going to stamp that really big carrot, really big carrot, in pale papaya. Okay. I'm going to stamp that right there. Now, there is an accent piece for this. It kind of looks like a bunch of squiggly lines. It doesn't really look like much of anything. But we're going to stamp that in that pumpkin pie. Okay. On the sample, I did it in Calypso Coral, and I didn't like the way it looked. So tonight, we're going to try some pumpkin pie and see if this comes out any better. All right. So again, between the glare and everything else, I'm going to try to match this up. This would be a great one to use with your stamparatus. All right. There we go. All right. Not too bad. A little bit off, but not too bad. All right. So that's that. Now we're going to use that same long feathery leaf again or stem whatever you want to call it and again we're going to stick with the granny apple green because that is our card base okay so we're going to go stick that there we're going to put one of these right on top of there now we've got this other really big leaf that we're going to stamp in some granny apple green Ooh, i'm get on all the there we go Okay, so there we got that. Now, I'm going to take some garden green because, again, we have an accent stamp for the leaf. Again, it looks like a bunch of, like, random lines that I am going to just ink up with the garden green. And I am just going to, again, marry it up and then just stamp that over that one leaf. Okay, so now we've got that. And then we're going to say on the inside, everything's coming up carrots. Now let's stamp this in our granny apple green. Okay. We'll stick with the same color as the card base. All right. So that's our inside. Okay. So you got that. Now we've got here our little deckled rectangle. And we are going to stamp three of those long skinny carrots okay and i'm just gonna so i'm gonna start in the middle all right and then i'm just gonna do one on the left and one on the right there we go one on the left and one on the right so we're just making a bunch of carrots okay now we're going to come back in with that little tiny leaf again okay thanks marcia Okay, let me make sure I can see this. I always forget to keep this. And I'm just going to stamp this three times. And again, they're going to overlap. That's fine. Okay, so now we've got our three carrots. And we are going to stamp. It looks like spring. We're going to stamp that. Make sure your stamp is right side up. I almost had it upside down. All right, it looks like spring. Okay, so now we've got that. We're going to put that to the side for a minute. And we're going to take that bunny from the Easter Bunny stamp set. And we are going to stamp that again in Granny Apple Green on our Granny Apple Green card base. So this is again, a standard eight and a half 
by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. But the one thing I do want to do is I am going to put this underneath my paper because some of these bunnies are actually going to end up being off. So I'm just going to go stamp these all. It's got a little tail up there. How cute is that? Ooh, little bunny tail. All right. We're just going to put these on in a random order. It doesn't really matter because most of them will be covered up. All right. So we're not going to see a lot of them. I should have put something there, but that's okay. Maybe we'll put some ears there. All right. That looks fine. Maybe again, maybe just a little bit of a little bit of nose there. Bunny nose there. All right. Now we've got that all done. Okay, we've got just a little bit of interest by putting that on our card front. So now I've got a piece of our fresh freesia that's five and a half by two and a half. And I have another piece of that dandy designs designer series paper that's two by five and a half. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to layer these up together. And again, I am back to my liquid glue until I can figure out why my stamp and seal is not working correctly. But that will be a problem for another day. All right, let me go. See, and by putting our stamp and pierce, pierce mat under our scrap paper or you know, this piece, this piece of paper, it protects it from getting, because as you can see, our bunny did go off the paper. So you always want to make sure that you have a piece of scrap paper over your stamp and pierce mat. And actually, I don't really need to have that under there anymore. Let's move that out of the way. Okay. So again, I'm just going to layer this up and we are going to add our glue. So, so I was complaining. I was, I mailed out the um, packets for my January workshop. I mailed them out like on the 10th. So one of them was going to Manassas, which is about 50 miles from here. So I went to check on it because it should have been delivered today. I don't know. They sent it to Manassas, Virginia via Nashville. I have no idea. I'm like, I don't understand that at all, but okay. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to take our um our little one and i do want to put some adhesive on the back because we're going to layer over some of our fresh freesia ribbon which i don't know where it went to oh here it is no that's not it hmm. i had it right here because i was working with it you know this never fails i have everything within my fingertip reach there it is okay but i always managed to misplace something all right, so now let's see if we can get this to work any better. I don't think we can, but I just want to put some, oh, maybe, no, oh, maybe. Okay, that's a little better. All right, so now I'm just going to take this, I'm going to leave it on the bolt for now because I want to just kind of layer it in a zigzag pattern. I'm going to have some overlap there, have some kind of overlap here. And then again, we're just going to have some overlap here. Okay, so that's how I like to do it. I mean, there's probably tons of other ways to do it. That's just how I do it. But I'm sure there's, if you've got a way that you like to do it, then do it your way. Because that's what it's all about. All right, so again, we're going to use... Some of our leftover dimensionals from our paper pumpkin. And I was really happy with the set. Um, this was the, hmm. It must've been the new, no, it wasn't the January one. Maybe it was just, I don't know. It was an old one because I had, I'm backed up on them. But anyway, oh no, it wasn't paper pumpkin. Sorry. It was the, um, the new kit sending thanks. That's where these came from. So these were left over from the sending thanks kit. I'm like, I didn't think I had the new paper pumpkin. Okay. All right. So we're going to put that there. All right. Now I've got some elegant gems that we're just going to kind of put on there. Okay. And I think we'll use the white ones. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of put these on in a random pattern. 
maybe not too random. Okay. And that is our second card. All right. So that look at how I did. So this is the first one I did. You see, I didn't have the bunny stamped on there. And this one, I stamped the bunnies. So I think it just gives it a little bit more interest and makes it pop just a little bit more. But let me know what you think. Do you like it with the bunnies or without the bunnies? Oh, you know, we forgot to put the inside in. Let's put the inside in. I got so excited. Let me quickly put the inside in because we stamped it. So, all right, there we go. Again, I don't usually like working with the liquid glue too much because I always make such a mess with it. But it does give you a little bit more time to lay stuff down. And if it's not exactly right, you can maybe position it a little bit. All right, so there we go. So that are, those are our two cards. So we did a real simple stamping one where we didn't really do anything other than our straight edges. Then we come over here and we've added all kinds of embellishments. We've done die cuts. We've done some tone on tone stamping. Well, we did that on both of them. Um, but I hope you like it. I, I hope you'll take a look at this set. It's called Thanks a Bunch. It is free with a $50 purchase during celebration, which runs through February 28th. And um, uh, don't forget that I have a frequent buyers program. So for every $50 you spend, you earn a Foxy point, collect 10 Foxy points, and I'll give you a $50 shopping spree. All right. That's it. Thanks, Marsha. Yeah, I think the bunnies are cute too. I really like them. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye.